Well, howdy. Welcome. Today, we're changing things up. We're on tiermaker.com, which is where you can make a tier list of whatever you want. It can be uh, favorite movies, uh, favorite music, top video games. Everything's on here. And get that really say The Fred guy ranks Disney Nickelodeon shows. All I guess is why in like parentheses is like, like, yeah, the real question is why? Like, do, do, who who cares what the Fred guy has to say on Nickelodeon shows? That That's like if I, if they got Michael Vick to do a tier list of like his favorite dog breeds. Like, you just don't do that. But I had already answered my own question. Is like, does someone really care what I have to say on this stuff? No? Well, good, because I'm going to say it anyway. So we're, we're just going to go up through here. We're going to do some little tier lists of things. I don't know how long it's going to be. I'm going to try and keep it fast because the other night I did a few tier lists with some, some buddies of mine, a discord server, and it went on really long. We did one of top breakfast cereals. It, it went on for two hours. It was, it was a long discussion, fun, but it, it's long. It, it can get pretty long, but I'm going to try and keep it pretty fast today. I'm going to keep it brief. I'm going to describe as short as I can what my choices are so let's let's see let's pick one and you can see there's a lot of different ones there's there's sports there's politics but uh we, we ain't getting into that right now <laughs> video games of course NBA and a whole bunch of different things I think because it's a gaming channel we'll, we'll focus on video games and maybe we'll do another one outside of it but for now let's go video games there are a few I've already done, so I don't want to do those. I've already done them. So we'll just keep going until we can find uh, some, some cool ones. Um, I don't know if that last was part two. Is what, what are they uh, comparing there? See, Skull, Rocks. You know what? Let's go Rockstar Games. I, I've played a lot of their games. So this should be pretty good. We'll start off here. We'll start off pretty, uh, pretty slow. And we'll work our way up to the top. Okay, so I guess the way I'll, I'll just, I'm just gonna pick up random, I'm just gonna see which games, and I'll say, you know what, this goes in this slot. So let's get the easy ones out of the way. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas automatically goes in the S. Like, amazing, great game. Vice City, also really good. One of the best sound, like licensed soundtracks of any video game to this day. Like the moment you start Vice City up and Billy Jean starts playing on the radio, it, it I knew it was the game. Like it, it was over for me. I was like, you know, I only need to play the rest of this game. It, it it's already the best game. You start out with Michael Jackson, like you automatically win. And just really good like game picks for the soundtrack as well for the other stuff. Uh, Bully, really good. I I love this game. I'm I'm really still hoping there's Bully too at some point. But yeah, really good game. Grand Theft Auto 4. A. I love this game. This game gets a lot of hate. I honestly really love the story. It's probably, uh, in terms of like a story story, it's the best one of the entire Grand Theft Auto series. Although San Andreas' story is amazing. But in terms of like a legit, just serious story, and just the character and the world and everything else, it's all working in this like this perfect unison and maybe the gameplay like for some people gets a little like stale at the halfway point but i i was digging it from start to finish i loved it like that was a game at the time people gave 10 out of 10s and i think when i first played it i gave it that and over time like i kind of let it digest it's still probably a good um eight to nine i still really enjoy it i'm i'm still a bit upset that rockstar has not done anything uh with four at all there's no like remaster or anything you can still only play it on pc with the, the god awful port or having a ps3 or 360 copy uh red dead redemption 1 s easily amazing story great gameplay red dead 2 you know what it's got to go s as well i i loved red dead 2 uh moving on Ooh, there's, there's some really some sort of some really good ones left um you know let me let me get this out of the way right now i'm just gonna say grand theft auto one i'm gonna say hmm 
You know what? I'm gonna say C. It's not a bad game. It just if you compare it to like the rest of them, it's not on that same level. But it's a whole different series at that point when you have the top-down perspective. And then I'll put GTA 2 in the same category. Like not not like a favorite of mine, but still still a good game. Um, I think this is GTA 3. I'll, I'll put that in B. It, it's a good game. It, it's definitely aged the worst compared to like these ones. But still a really fun game. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 5. Honestly, I will put it in the same as B. At the time, when I first got it, I really loved it. But over time, it's kind of gone down for me a little bit. The, the hype kind of wore off and different things with it. It's, it's not really one that I go back to as frequent. Still a really good game. But not like, a, like oh, I, I need to get this. But still good. Like the story wasn't bad. Uh, I like the concepts they did with like the switching between three characters and having all like different characters have different like main moves. I liked the map. It was fun exploring. GTA Online was fun for about uh, a month and then like stopped playing it. <laughs> so I don't know. We'll see. Maybe uh, maybe when it comes to PS5, maybe I'll check it uh, check it out again. Maybe I'll get back on GTA Online. Where I'm, I got like my. Uh, 1500 bucks and everyone's like 15 million and i'm all broke that, that'll be fun yeah, you know can i guys kind of talk about that they really butchered dj gta online like on gta 4 online was sick like i loved it just like it was just free roam you can just fight other players you can race around the map you have your different game modes but you can just like just mess around it was fun just doing that and then um gta online comes in like well you know you gotta buy ammo you gotta buy this and that like why do i have to buy ammo and the game kind of is against you killing other players because you start killing them it's like oh well you get a bounty now you blow up their vehicle well they have insurance so you got to buy that you got to replace it for them so you're broke and all these systems of play that just aren't fun like four was just chaotic fun it was great five is it's like you're always like clutching the steering wheel like i don't want to I don't want to mess with this guy because then if I blow up his vehicle accidentally, like it's just, it's, it's anti-fun. And then don't even get me started on the shark cards and that, that garbage there. That's why it's on PS5. Like, like don't get twisted. It's not because, well, you know, people haven't played five yet. It's like, no, it's because like they're making so much money on it. Mm. All right. Max Payne. Easily. You know what? It's ooh. You know what? I'm gonna say I, I love Max Payne too. That's a great game. Max Payne one A, but Max Payne two is where it's at. Although you know what? I'm gonna switch Max Payne three, and that I'm gonna put A. I'm gonna put one and B, and three and A. I actually really liked three. I know some people really were kind of not digging it, but I was like three is really good. It's not to the level of two, but still fantastic. It's a fantastic game. Definitely better on PC for controls. Uh, Red Dead Revolver. I did play this one a little bit back in the day. Uh, I don't know if it holds up as well. I haven't played it in a super long time. I'll just put it at C for now because, like, you know, what? it probably hasn't aged too, too great, but not generally not too bad. Uh, Okay, Manhunt. This is where it's gonna get tough. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll say, I'll say B for this one. Eh, maybe, maybe C for that one. And now it's just down to the uh, the story ones. So I think this is. Let me see the covers. I can see which one. Uh, I think Vice City Stories, Chinatown Wars, and Liberty City Stories. Okay. So. I'll put Vice City Stories here. I think that's the better one of the GTA uh, PS2 ones. Or the PSP ones, sorry. They did get ported to PS2, but they started up on PSP. Uh, I think this is the better one. I like the soundtrack a bit more in this one. It kind of gave more, uh, kind of got more backstory and different things with the Vice City characters and soundtrack was good. Uh, Liberty City Stories, not bad, just very run of the mill. I, I kind of I never finished that one. It was okay. Uh, Chinatown Wars actually for what for a DS game, it's pretty pretty cool. I, I kind of liked it. It wasn't bad. 
And, and that's the list right there. You know, pretty, pretty fair. I'd like to say it's a pretty fair list. Like, there's nothing in here that I would say that someone would look at it and be like, wow, you put that there? But on the things can change because someone might be like, man, you really put five and, and B next to three, <laughs> like five and three are equal. But it's like, hey. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's that's the first list down. Like, not that bad. Like thinking, looking at it over now, like, you know, they all make sense. San Andreas still amazing. Still like the best one of the series easily just in terms of gameplay, story, soundtrack. It's very, it's a very nostalgic game. I just put it, I can just put it on, and be like, oh, yeah, I'm just, it's like, yeah, it take, takes me back a little bit, back to the good old days. Uh, bully, I was, yeah, I'll, I'll need to go, I'll need to go all in on these, but yeah, just overall, good first list. I, I'm pretty, I, I'm pretty happy with this one. But you know, let's let's move on. I think we've spent too much time on a uh, Rockstar game. Let's check out some other ones. All right, what's the next one? Oh man, video game consoles. I don't know if I should do that one. That one would probably take me a few hours. I I'm seeing some options. I see this 3D Mario one. I see action games. I'm seeing Metal Gear, Crash Bandicoot. So I'm seeing some stuff on this one. I, I think I'm going to go Metal Gear because I, I just got to do this one. It's just the a given. So I I'm going to go. Now this one it it's going to be really fast compared to the Rockstar one. These ones are already set in stone and just I already know. All right, here we go. Boom. 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 What? Yeah. Yeah. Boom. 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 Uh, yeah. Hey. I think this is a uh, Peace Walker, and eh, about that. And which which one is that? Is that Portable Ops? I can't even read that. What is that? Oh, that's Peace Walker. Dang, which one is this one then? Oh, that's Portable Ops. Oh, let me let me switch some things real quick, cause uh, Portable Ops probably go that. Peace Walker probably go there. All right, there's the list. <clears throat> like I said fast. Like it, I didn't like it was said in my head already <clears throat> where it is. The only one I was like conflicted. I was like, hmm, said, should Metal Gear Four be an S? But I was like, nah. You know what? The first, like those four, like main title games are all, all amazing. Now I probably, if I was to be realistic, you know, I will change it up a little bit. Realistically, I would say. Four and two could go in A, and these would be in the, the top. Like, this is it. Because Metal Gear 3 is one of my favorite games of all time. So that is already a given that it's an S. Metal Gear 1, Metal Gear Solid 1, amazing. Another just favorite game. And these these other ones are really good. But, are, but to be fair and make the list a little bit more uh, balanced, I'll put them in A. But the other ones I think make sense. Like honestly, <sighs> hmm, I could kind of put Ground Zeroes in. <sighs> hmm. Nah, I I'm fine with this. Uh, Phantom Pain's good, but it's definitely not a good. And Ground Zeroes, yeah, it's, it's fine, but it's definitely a C. These two are the ones that I'm just like, ah. Eh. And honestly, Peace Walker, like it's it's got some cool stuff, but it honestly could be in D. But I'll leave it to C now to be fair. Yeah, that's that one. Say so that fast. Like <laughs> it, I already knew going in, it's like, well, I already know where these games are, are placed in my head easily. It's not even like I'm thinking like, okay, does, does this go there? It's like, no, Snake Eater is easily gonna be S. So yeah, that was quick. <laughs> Let me move on to another one now. I think I'll go ahead. The Crash Bandicoot one will be another fast one. So I could do that one. You know, I think I'll do that and I'll do action games. And I'll call it there. So let's do Crash Bandicoot games now. Okay, here we go with this crash list. So there's a lot of games in here I have not played. And I think 
I will keep it that way. I will not put him in here because it's not even if I know the game's hot garbage. I don't want to put it on there because like, I have not played it myself. So I'm only going to put games that I've personally played. All right. So right off the bat, let's just get it out of the way. Crash one, crash two, warped and twin sanity are all in S. Now, some like one could probably be an A realistically, but all these are in the same category. They're all some of the best games of the series, easily. Insane, A. Even though it's the same as these, the controls are a little different in this, just enough that it gets an A. Uh, where's where's it at? Uh, Crash Bass, that easily goes to D. Um, where's Team Racing? A, without a doubt. Uh, Crash of the Titans, D. Uh, that Game Boy Advance Crash game, that goes C. Um, where's that? Oh, this game. I was, I was ranting about this game in the Twin Sandy video. Honestly, I... <sighs> C, but realistically, in my heart, it's a D. <laughs> that game's booty. And I think I think that's it right there. That, that's all of the ones I've played. So these other games are spared. They're lucky they didn't get on here. Because I just knew right off the bat, if I was to be unfair, some of these can easily go right in D. Like this one and some of these awful crash like design games. The Game Boy Advance ones might not be too bad, honestly, because I think a lot of them were... Uh, God, the studio that did the remaster of this, which they're Vicarious Visions, I think, did a lot of them, which like they're they're good. But yeah, that's gonna be it for here right now on that one. Not not bad. Like at least there's a lot of crash games I haven't played, but at least all the good ones I played them. <laughs> so that's a pretty pretty decent list. Let's go uh let's go finish this off now. There's one more list left. Alright, action games. SSS. Oh, man. Oh, this is a long one. This is going to take me a good minute to get through. But you know what? I'm going to go through as much as I can. Oh, my. Oh. This is going to be this is going to be hard. This one actually is going to be stacked because I'm looking through this. I've played a good amount of these games. Just know SSS. There's going to be at least a good few games in here. And you might see half this list legit might be SA. <laughs> All right, let, let's start off the bat with the easy ones. Right off the bat, without any question, Kingdom Hearts 2, SSS. Where's Devil May Cry? Devil May Cry 3, SSS. Devil May Cry 4, SSS. If, if 5 is Oh, well, now that I see this. F. <laughs> Although that is definitely unfair. It's definitely not fair because gameplay wise, you know, for what it is gameplay, it's not bad. But in terms of what it did for DMC at the time, F. <laughs> uh, Animusha 2, SSS. Animusha 3, SSS. Oh, oh man, the God of Wars are in here too. Hmm. God of War 2, I'll put an SSS. God of War 3, I'll put S, to be fair. Devil May Cry 2, D. Devil May Cry 1, C. Uh, God of War 1, uh, A. I'll, I'll be fair on that one. Kingdom Hearts 1, I'll put S for that one. So, there's a lot of stuff that's jank in there, but still really good. Uh, hmm. So now the thing that gets hard about this is that do I go as a whole game as a whole or do I base it on the combat? That's where I'm kind of getting hard about because it's getting kind of tough where uh, uh <laughs> getting kind of hard about <laughs> I, I, I'm not deflecting that. <laughs> I, I that's what's getting hard about it. <laughs> That's what's getting hard about it is, uh, do I base it on the combat or the game as a whole? 
And I think for the time being, I will go the whole package from start to finish, including gameplay. And if so, then I think I'll leave Kingdom Hearts 3 and A then. And I'll leave Kingdom Hearts 1 and S. Shinobi, really hard game. God, this game is brutal. I need to I need to do a DWC plays on this one. This game's really good, but it's it's one of the hardest games I've ever played in my life. Honestly, it gets a B. Good, good middle middle tier game. Uh, no more heroes one. Really fun game. I really enjoy it. I'll, I'll put it S. No more heroes two. Uh, I think the first one's better. I'll put it B, but still really good game. Delve May Cry five. Damn that. Oh, that was a really good game. But, you know, I'll put it S. To be fair. Uh. Fury. All right. SSS, without a doubt. Incredible game. Ooh. What? Is that a Sonic? <laughs> Sonic and Moose. Onimusha 1. Uh, that goes A. It's, it's good. It's not It's not 2 and 3 level, but still a good game. Um, Dante's Inferno. For God of War clone, it actually was surprisingly pretty good. I'll give that a B. One of the best God of War clones out there. Onimusha 4. I never finished it. I did enjoy it. Uh I'll I'll go I'll go B on it. I'll be fair. I'll give it a go B. Alright. <clears throat> Ninja Gaiden. This one. Ooh. Hmm. I'm gonna go B on that one, but I'm gonna go for Ninja Gaiden 2. A. This game was really good. Hmm. Okay, what's it's a lot still a lot left. Oh Kira's Wrath. That that's a that was a good B game. I really like that. This sucks the DLC thing. But that was fun. God hand. Sick game. This game is really sick. <laughs> yeah, that goes in the S. But now it gets hard because like, damn, God Hand's better than God of War 1, Kingdom Hearts 3. That's where it gets rough because it's like, mm, it's really good. I think these are better games, but mm, it this is where it gets hard. It's like, it's best action games. It's like uh, action beat em up. It's really good. So I, you know, I will put it in A because like, mm, is it on the same level as the DMC Fire Kingdom Hearts 1? But is it, but also is it on the same level as these games? <sighs> I, I will put it next to Sarah's Wrath. I think it's in the same category. It, it makes sense here. That that was okay. That was a hard one right there because even I was like, you know what? Maybe I'm just overgoing it. I'm overhyping it. It's really good, but is it on the same level as this game? <laughs> These games. Okay. Well, Metal Gear Rising. That's an S. Really fun. Um. V no, Beautiful Joe 1. Beautiful Joe 1 and 2, I'll both put an S. They're, they're both really cool games. I'm still hoping for a third, but we'll see. Mad World. That was, that was a cool game. Uh, it was cool. Uh, it's about a C, though. Did some cool stuff, but nothing like amazing. Man, the thing, now the thing that's going to be really sad... And I have to admit it here, I have never played a Yakuza game. But that is going to be changing soon because I have Yakuza uh, Kiwami. I have that on uh, my PS4. I have Yakuza 6. And they have the collection of the trilogy on sale right now. I'm thinking of buying them. So very soon, I will probably have the entire series and I'll probably just go game by game to catch up because I'm I really want to play more of that is that, is that the bouncer that is what's that doing on this list that's easily that's easily F <laughs> without a without question Transformers Devastation uh let's see it was, it, was, it was a pretty decent little game not not, not my favorite so 
Resident Evil 6. You know what? It, it's funny that this game is in the action list. That a Resident Evil game is in a best action list. That should tell you something. I really was not a fan of Resident Evil 6 at all. I, I will be fair. I will put it in the same category as, as DMC2. It's like just... Mm. Okay, Okami. Really fun little game. Uh, I'll, I'll go A on that one. Near one. I have not played near. I have not played uh, Automata, so I cannot put those on there. I'm going to be getting to them at some point. <clears throat> Bayonetta one. No. Classic. I will put it. Uh, I'll, I'll put it in A. Bayonetta two. Now this is really embarrassing and funny to say. I bought Bayonetta 2 the day it came out. I played I played it on Wii U. I played uh, number one on Wii U. I never got to Bayonetta 2. I still have it on the Wii U. I have not played it yet. I was like, you know, I'll get to it. And what happened is the point I bought Bayonetta 2, I was getting a good inflow of money coming in. And I was buying a lot of games, like every week. And I think the week after I got Bayonetta 1 and 2, I got... Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles for the Wii. And that was it. It was game over. I never got back to Bayonetta uh, 2. So I cannot put Bayonetta 2 on the list, unfortunately. <laughs> I have it. I just have not played it. All right. What else is on here? I got to zoom in because some of these game covers, I'm like, what? what are some of these? Okay. Anarchy Reigns. Okay. Okay. Uh. PS4 God of War. Uh, I'll put that. I'll put that in. I'll put that in B. That, that, that was fun. I thought I liked that game. Vanquish. I played a little bit of it, but I've never played the full thing, unfortunately. Darksiders. I played a little bit of that. That was cool. Fist of the North Star. Man, I I want to play these games. I've heard they're they're good. I haven't gotten around to them. Sonic Unleashed I have played, but I would never put I wouldn't really put it in action games because of the Werehog stuff. And I'll put it in C. Good Sonic game, but if I'm stacking it as an action game next to these Titans, it it's in C. Oh, that final fight game. Ugh, no. Never played that Spider-Man game. I can only put one of the Zone Enders games on here. Um uh, yeah, I'll put that C as well. Oh, Lords of Shadow. Um, eh, it was, that was decent. That's. Yeah, I'll go about C maybe. And I think. Wow, well, I didn't put Ninja Guy in this one. Oh, it was three that was there. Okay. Uh. Yeah, well, actually, I think, I think one was way better than, than three. And I'll put B and I'll put uh, three and C. Uh, four shot least. Uh, that was a pretty cool little action game. Killer is dead. I have not played. Legend of Korra. I have not played that game. All right, I think I'll just make another row of just games I haven't played. I think that'll be it, honestly. All the games on here I haven't played, but honestly, it's pretty good because it's like, well, it gives me more games to check out. Like the entire Yakuza game series I've wanted to play for a good minute. When I was seeing a preview footage of it on Game Informer back in the day, I was like, that looks kind of cool. I should get that. And I never did. And then when it was on PS3, it was the same thing. I was like, well, it looks cool. I should get that. Never did. And then finally, uh, when I started seeing him like blow up in the West, I'm like, man, I should have really got into it. But you know, now's the perfect time because now they're all on sale and I have nothing but time to get to them. So that works out well for me. All right, and this is the entire little... I actually have to zoom out even more. That's how big this one is. 
honestly good list i'd say although there are some things that definitely can change because mm, i feel like i feel like some stuff can go up and like hmm Honestly, I feel like God of War 1 can go in S2. That was really good. Go in there. Uh, no, I, I think, I think I'll leave it there. I, I don't want to like uh, keep going on, but I think that's that. That'll be it for this list. Yeah, not, not bad. Th this was actually a hard one. There's a lot of games. All it's shown is like I've played a lot of action games <laughs> over the years, but it, it's definitely next to RPGs, and uh, it's it's definitely uh, one of my favorite genres of uh, game to play. And there are some really good ones. It, had I gone the the route of based on action games alone, like the gameplay of it, it'd be even harder. Because if, if I had to go off that, Kingdom Hearts one unfortunately would be way lower. But as a whole experience. I'm taking the whole experience into effect just from story and everything else. But it kind of gets hard because it's like, you know, actually, uh, Kimar's 3 story was really good. That could be in there, but I'll, I'll leave it at there because honestly, I'll be here all day if I don't. So that'll, that'll, be, uh, that'll be it for this list, I think. Let's wrap it up then. Okay, I think that's going to do it here for me with the tier list. Honestly, pretty fun. I actually enjoyed making some of these tier lists. Uh, I only did video games. Like I said, there is a lot of other ones on here. There's fast food and drinks. There's movies. There's music and custom ones. So th there's a lot of them. And honestly, next time I, I might make my own tier list. I might make a gaming with class tier list and like rank like video series and like certain things I've done. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll, well, I'll wait until that point ever does uh, happen. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for me here. Uh, thank you for watching. If you stuck around to watch me make very pointless lists. Hopefully your lists uh, are even in the same kind of range as mine. Or hopefully they're way different too. I kind of I, I kind of like it when I see other people, how they rank it. Because sometimes it's like, whoa, that, that's there? Like where it's like, okay, this is this awful thing. And they're like, awful? It's, that's an S. <laughs> and then it's a good back and forth. So uh, I, I very rarely just, you know what? Uh, if you have your own tier list on here, where do you think I made a mistake? You know, let me know. I'd like to know where the downfalls were in my list I created. Which knowing that uh, the action game one, there's probably a lot. <laughs> it's like, uh, <laughs> that got B? <laughs> uh, let me explain something to you. Uh, you're wrong. <laughs> but then we'll, 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 we'll go. We'll, we'll see when that time does come. So, yeah, uh, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, I'm John GWC, and I will uh, see you later. Peace.